Hey guys, welcome to the channel. An update on the Sarasota Tim road trip. Last time I was saying Miss Tammy was going to be a ghost rider. Well, there's glimpses of her and she's actually appeared in the videos. But guys, don't you see what's going on? This is AI. They're patching her in with AI. Sarasota Tim actually is a programmer for Google. He works remotely from his trailer. And that's why he's going to California. That's where the Google headquarters are. Don't you see this? He actually has a very high IQ. It's off the charts. I'm telling you guys, it's an illusion. No, guys, I'm joking around. One of my uh, viewers said that I'm the Alex Jones of Sarasota conspiracy theories. That would be a great one, right? But um, anyway, what's really going on, it looks like Miss Tammy did, in fact, come all the way out there to the desert for this great road trip adventure. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy for Sarasota Tim that it worked out and she got out there <clears throat> because it seemed like she wasn't a happy camper when she first got to the airport. Um, from what I understand... There was a little debacle where he had to drive around a couple times. You know how hectic those airports are. And she had to carry her own luggage through the terminal and whatnot out. The deal is, yeah, when you park at the airport, <clears throat> if you're not just there to pick someone up in the pickup lane, you're going to be hit with a parking fee. And... Well, that airport should be less crowded than the ones around where I live in New York. But the ones around here are a real hassle to park at. So anyway, here's the latest stuff that's going on. Okay, he's okay. He, so he, he picked her up at the airport. The next day, he's driving her out to California. And I can tell he's itching to film her. He keeps... He keeps turning the camera over toward that direction, you know, to to try to get like a view. And <clears throat> he's itching to, to put her on the videos more. He's holding he's holding back from it. He's holding back. She must just want to uh, keep like a low profile right now and enjoy the trip or whatnot. Less filming. I can't say I blame her when I'm doing a lot of filming. People do get annoyed. They do get annoyed. I've had my girlfriend get mad at me when I was filming in, uh, we were at a dive bar in Philly and I was trying to show some of the food and around the bar and stuff. And she said I was talking too loud. And because I had my phone out, it, I people are going to like get annoyed at me. And she was getting, she was like, put it away. I've had it happen. My One of my friends, um, another friend of mine, he gets mad when I do the film. It happens. That's part of doing it. If You can't be afraid to um, go up to people and like, if you have a channel or whatnot, you got to go up to them and, and like interview people. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of that when I go on the cruise. We'll see how many people want to be on the channel. How many people want to be on film. Yeah, he's just itching to film her. I can tell you. So, let's see here. I wrote down some stuff. Okay, so, they it started off where I left off. Let's see, where is this stuff here? i got to get this in order. I thought I had this all set up. Okay, here it is right here. So they start off, they drive through the desert. They went to this Peggy Sue's 50 style diner. This thing is really cool. It reminds me of a place I've been to. And I bet you that Tim and Tammy, they probably have been to this. It's in Florida on Captiva, Sanibel Captiva Island. There's a place called the Bubble Room. This thing is awesome. It's got, it's like a 50s style diner, but it's decorated for 
all kinds of stuff, like Elvis stuff. Um, they have a room that's a Christmas room with Santas and Christmas trees and stuff, all kinds of decorations, and they leave it up year round. If you're ever in Florida, it's on the uh, West Coast, Gulf of Mexico, over by Fort Myers. That's where it's very close. You drive out on Sanibel Island. Hopefully it didn't get ruined uh, when they had that hurricane like a year ago. Someone told me it's still there because <clears throat> I had a lot of vintage stuff in it. Um, it's, it's very similar to this Peggy Sue's Diner, but it's a lot bigger. It has like more rooms. So anyway, he gets to this place and uh, he starts filming. There's military vehicles out there. He sees tanks and different things. So he goes over there and he's filming these uh, the military stuff. It's sizzling hot out, sizzling hot. And uh, he's like, oh, wow, there's even some guys. There's guys working out there and that heat. I don't how did how do they do it? They're in full uniforms. So I told you, Tim's a military man. I was saying that in my other video. The foo foo juice. It, he should have brought a bottle to give to those uh go up to those tank guys and give them some foo foo juice while he's filming there, right? That's how so he can get the military discount now. He did some filming. They actually have guys that do filming in the military. Now, the thing I don't get with this whole this whole trip, one of the things he was saying when he first started, he was like, I got an RV. I can be, you know that guy on YouTube, Traveling Robert? He's like, I could be like Traveling Robert. I can go wherever I want with my RV. I'm not going to be around hot weather anymore. I'm not going to be around Florida when it gets hot. I'm going to travel. He was saying he was going to go to the Northeast before for the summer. Stay out of the heat. I don't know what happened. I don't know what the deal is. Because he planned, well, once he learned about the Lachlan, Nevada, he kind of like was hell bent on. That's like the only place he goes with the RV. He'll trailer it to that exact area. And he's not even bringing it on the road trip to California. So I'm not quite sure what happened to those plans. He got skunked. He got a black rental car that gets baking hot. A small tin can style car. I mean, it's a point A to point B car, Nissan Sentra, all right? The problem is, that would be good if you're going on a trip, like, by yourself, and you get one in, like, white or silver to stay cool, right, with tinted windows. I don't know if the rental cars have tinted windows, so I don't know if they come with that, but that definitely would help. I mean, this... In my opinion, this is like a trip from hell. If you're dealing with temps, he said it was 111 when they were driving through the desert. <clears throat> Unbelievable. I don't know what happened to staying out of the heat or enjoy. I don't blame Miss Tammy if she's not happy out there. It's just too damn hot. I don't understand why he's even there um, in this part of the country. <clears throat> So, yeah, he was at Peggy Sue's Diner. A lot of 50s stuff in there. Elvis. I bet Miss Tammy, she probably likes Elvis. Big fans. A lot of uh, cool memorabilia. All right. So, apparently, okay, so he's, he's booked rooms at the Hilton Garden Inn. He was staying there. And he was saying he's got this guy, Hilton Tom, that hooks him up with discounts, friends and family discounts. And maybe some of his friends are helping to uh, pay for the hotel. He said he wouldn't be able to do the trip without having people help him out there. I was watching on the 
videos the last couple days just to catch up on what's going on. And there's this guy, this guy's a real character, Grifters, Grifters Anonymous. And he had a few good points. Uh, he was, well, Tim's going to hate me for even bringing this up because I think that, I don't know if that's a legitimate hate channel or not. But um, he did have a few good points on there. The Oh, he was talking about the phones getting too hot and cutting out. He said videoing with your phone. Now, this is kind of crazy. I don't know if this is true. He said if you're videoing with your phone, which I do that too, I, everywhere I go, you know, if I'm doing a, making a video, in California, that's not legal to do. You're not allowed to, like, be holding your phone and videoing yourself or whatever while you're in public like that or bring using a selfie stick maybe seems kind of i mean that's really some kind of like over in my opinion it's like an overreach of government i don't like that but his so he was saying that's why he's having miss tammy is now filming acting like the cameraman filming the videos for him um, California, I don't know about this place. Uh, so Tim filled his car up, super expensive gas in California. He, he was showing the pump. I thought it was for premium. I'm like, why is he putting premium in that damn Sentra? You don't need to use premium. Then I saw, no, that's the, for the 87. That was the price. And it was close to $5 a gallon. I don't get it, man. That's, it's a, I mean, the problem is when things get that expensive, the only people that can afford to live there are people that are super rich. Unfortunately, you know, people that are connected, in other words, because most regular jobs don't pay enough money to afford everything being so expensive like that. Um, okay, so Grifter said, don't be filming, you can't film in California, walking around with your phone, like, um, I don't know if that's true or not, let me know in the comments, his advice for Tim, and I, I agree with this, I have advice for him, um, Grifter said he probably had, is bringing his, uh, handgun, if he thinks he's a cowboy, that gun that he had in Florida, my advice is do not bring that with you. Put that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put that thing in the desert someplace. Put it in Put it in a bag or something and, and bury it in the desert. And then pick it up when you're on your way out. Because I live in New York and it's a super strict gun state. You don't even want to have a gun here. If you have one... That thing is, I did a video on Ben's products about the Berna home defense weapon. And it looks like a gun, right? My point being, you don't even want to have anything like that. If the cops see you brandishing this thing or they find it, they're going to immediately, like, they're going to have their guns drawn. They're going to call for backup. You could end up being shot just for, if they think you have a gun and you're holding it. Don't even bring that damn thing. This is straight up advice. This is good advice uh, I'm giving. I give good advice, but not too many people follow it. That's the problem. Yeah, you do not want to You do not want to bring that. That Grifters, that guy's a character. If you've seen his channel, he's a character. And it looks like he lives in some kind of a trailer. That's in like a desert lot. It's like a smart way to do it, to, to save money. If you get a piece of land, your own piece of land, and then you can put your trailer there instead of paying for the hookups like Tim's doing. So, yeah, they're staying at the Hilton Garden Inn this time. I guess different Hilton properties. In my last video, I mentioned um, Hampton Inn. I stayed in one of those. 
The thing is, it's confusing. That's owned by Hilton. It's a Hilton property. The deal is, yeah, the one site, Hilton Garden in Hampton in they're not quite as fancy, I guess, as a legitimate, a real Hilton property. <clears throat> now, I couldn't believe this. Tim said, breakfast isn't free at the Hilton Garden Inn. It, they were trying to charge like, a lot of money for it, like 16 bucks or something. And he was like, forget that. We'll eat somewhere else. But he was also saying, like what I said in the other video, and I cringe at this. He was like, I don't even go for those free breakfasts a lot of times. That's like my friend Dave. He was making me cringe. He didn't want the free breakfast. He wanted to go to Waffle House. Apparently, Tim's thinking the same kind of thing. He's like, they're not... Those aren't all they're cracked up to be. Even if they were free, I don't necessarily wouldn't do it. Um, okay, so that one's done. There's so much going on, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This one's... And I haven't posted recently because I've been looking for these videos online to see what's going on, you know? To see what we can talk about. And there really haven't been. He hasn't been posting that much. Now maybe that will change. He would, You know it's a lot to get started with. You had to pick her up from the airport. Drive up here. So he, he filled the uh, Tundra up. At that California gas station. Not the Tundra. My mistake. The, the uh, Now I'm saying Hyundai. The Nissan Sentra. And uh, yeah a big. A big thing happened. Tim admitted to Miss Tammy and his subscribers that he was wrong. He finally admitted. He admitted he was wrong. Okay. It turns out the Tundra was actually made in Texas, not Japan. He was completely wrong on that. He said... That it was made in Japan before to a subscriber. All right. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see. Okay, Hilton Tom. I talked about that, the sponsoring him. Now, what I'm thinking is Tommy's probably helping pay for a lot of this stuff on the trip. You know, to, she came out there. She's probably footing the bill on a lot of this stuff. To do meals, hotels, maybe maybe his friend, well, his friend is getting him discounts. I don't know if they're actually paying for it, maybe once in a while. So the thing of it is, I figure it works like this. It's a trade-off, you see. He's also, he's going to show Tommy his old surfing spots. This is coming up, and I'm kind of excited to see some of this stuff. He's going to show her beaches where he did. It's called a sand rail. It's like a beach buggy that he would drive around in. He's going to show her like what it's all about living in California. And uh, he's showing us also the mountains are greenish. They're turning from brown to green now as you get closer to the coast. It still looks kind of like desert to me. Uh, they did see a wildfire. Now, here's the thing. If you watched, I used to watch these shows. I really liked them. No jokes. Um, Chips, California Highway Patrol was filmed out there. And there was another show called Emergency. That show, it was pretty cool. It was about like the firehouse where they would go off to fight these wildfires. And this is going back, I don't know, that was probably in the 70s when Emergency and Chips, big shows, I would see them on TV. And uh, so they, it's always been dry out there. They've always had wildfires. That kind of stuff's been going on. Unfortunately, when it's 111 degrees in the summer, it's not the best time to go out and see this stuff. So... He did that stuff. And yeah, like I'm saying, Miss Tommy's helping out, probably paying for a lot of this. But here's the deal. Tim probably says, 
the deal is you help out and pay for some of this. And then when we get done with the California part, we're going to go back. Oh, my bird's flying around. We're going to go back and we're going to stay in my trailer. And don't forget the flag staff. It's not just any trailer, okay? It's the FKRB. And that stands for Fancy Kitchen Romantic Bedroom. And a lot, believe me, a lot of women were clamoring to get a glimpse of that bedroom back when the trailer was being displayed at the RV show. So that should be a good one. We'll see. So anyway, I've been looking, hey, I've been looking what's coming up. And uh, we'll see what he posts today. But that's basically what's going on. Um, hey, new subscribers, welcome aboard. My channel practically doubled in size from doing the last video. Hopefully I covered some cool stuff today. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out and do some more, maybe do more regular posting as the trip progresses. And, uh, hey, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, I don't know, like I said, why he went out west. In New York, the weather's been great here. It's been, it's in around like 90 each day. But it's like nice summer weather. It's not like a super heat wave. That 111 stuff, that's too hot for me. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.